Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play God. Last time we got the floater, oh no, um, I mean the heavenly stone. Yeah. Um, but we are able to explore the whole world! And uh, off screen I went ahead and I revealed the entirety of the world map right here. So yeah, it's a little bit different than our world map, but it's still pretty much the same thing. So there's a lot of different things that we can do right now, some various side quests and stuff like that. And uh, I want to start off in Japan. Whenever you land in Japan, you get a special Japanese map uh, that we can go exploring as well. And thankfully that has been completely revealed for you. So that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see what I want to do here in Japan. There should be kind of a house surrounded by mountains right here that we saw earlier but we couldn't actually get to. Well, now we can! Oh, I like this music. It's kind of cool. Hey there, lady. Uh, let us in. Oh, well, thanks. Welcome home, the house of salvation. Okay. Huh. Why would they have a house of salvation up here in, like, the middle of nowhere? Uh, yeah, actually it is. Sure! Oh, hey, hey! Nice! Now we get the Medal of Salvation and the Miss You Energy. Oh, well, no problem. What does that Medal of Salvation do? I imagine that that is an accessory. Let's see. Oh. Um, maybe Nina can equip it? I'm not entirely sure what this thing does. Does it, like, not do anything? Is it just a... Maybe it's a, um, a special item. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. Completely useless! Thanks, game. Thanks. Oh. Oh, I guess not. Have you guys heard about that suicide forest in, um, Japan? I heard about that a couple of months ago, and I'm just, um, I, I don't really know anything about it, but I'm just kind of wondering if this House of Salvation is in the same general vicinity of that suicide forest, because a lot of people around here talk about, you know, people on the verge of death, um, people with nowhere to go, suicide, that sort of thing, so I don't really know. Although this is in a mountaintop and not in a forest or anything. Sure. Oh. Long ago, they used the internet. It wasn't that long ago if they used the internet. She's saying long ago as if it's like a fairy tale or something. <laughs> and then she's like, oh yeah, 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 well, they used the internet. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, nice. Okay, perfect. Let's just uh, keep on going on through here. Oh. Really? They kicked you out of school because you grew your hair out? That's kind of extreme, don't you think? Wow. Who are you, Tarzan? Yeah, that's, uh, different. Oh. Huh. Looks like everybody else has, like, a different story for coming here. If you talk to this lady, you can rest here, um, for free. I don't need to do that, but it's something that you could do. Oh. Oh! So I guess that you're the, uh, creator of this House of Salvation. Huh. Really? Some ideal that money can buy? I don't know. Maybe just happiness? Beats me. Oh. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that, despite what the bunny girl in Dragon Quest will, sell, will uh, tell you. Yeah, I'm still pissed off about that. Oh. Okay. Sounds nice. Hey there, little girl. Oh, well, what's that? Well, what's wrong? Yeah, it looks like everyone was bullied here. You really need to read her mind to figure that out? I mean, come on now. This is like the house for bullied kids. Of course she was bullied. 
Oh, are we going to actually get some backstory on Mina? Who knew? Oh. And you, you what? Oh, that's sad. So then what happened? What'd you do, Mina? You joined a church? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's awful. Huh. Sounds like something else from Breath of Fire 2, actually. This game has a lot of references to a lot of different, um, games. Oh. You know, Mina had telepathy, Paula had telepathy, the evil church going on here. Yeah, same old thing. Well, why don't you just lead the church and lead it the right way? But what'd you do? You just ran away? Oh. Yeah, so you were kidnapped. Well, that's terrible. Yeah, what would that be? Oh, that's nice. Mina really is a good person. <laughs> um, yeah, something like that, Heath. Oh. <laughs> really, Basil? Are you, like, castrated or something? How do you not know what he's talking about? Yeah, let's, uh, help him out. Hey, you're a pervert. Oh, um, if you say so. Let's, uh, try again and see what else he has to say. Let's, uh, be on his side. It's just man stuff. Yeah, but either way... Um, Mina says the same thing, so yeah, I just figured I'd show you both of the uh, options there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, God forbid you actually rely on yourself, rely on other people. I don't know if that's the right message that you should be uh, sending the youth. Believe in yourself and be strong. Final Fantasy IV got it right, at least, with their messaging. Yeah, uh, what's going on? Really? Now Mina's just messing with him. <laughs> oh, poor Heath. Yeah. Oh, well, no problem. I wish that we actually got something, like, useful for coming here, but we just get that stupid medal of salvation. Like, that's it. And then the girl just thanks you. So, yeah. Just a little side quest, a little backstory on Mina. You don't have to come here. Nothing all that important, but hey, it's there. I mean, you might as well. Uh, let's see. The next thing that I want to do over here in Japan is go to Maya Town, which is right here. Let's head on inside. And, uh, oh, wrong way. Uh, I want to um, visit my old friend Dan Kichi. Remember him? He's the one who helped us out at the very beginning of the game, and then he's been um, sending us letters and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So we can pop in on him. We actually have some wine and stuff now, too. We have um, that Aberdeen wine and all that, so we have booze. Maybe he'll like us. Who knows? Oh, uh, yeah, we're doing fine. Oh, um, sure, we'll join. Oh, no, no, no! I don't want to do that! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, at this point, if you said no, he'd go, oh, well, you know, actually, I'll just show you, whatever. Uh, let's just say no. Yeah, actually, I did. Oh. 
Yeah, I can't just turn off the game just like that. Oh, what do we have? What do we have? The gym towel. Sweet! Yeah, oh, that's very nice. Not that I run during my, um, my actual recording, but whenever I'm test playing an area and trying to map it out and all that kind of stuff and just looking around for things, yeah, I run all the time because nobody has time to sit there and fight all these battles only to reset the game and, you know, do it again. Oh, well, what is it? No, 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 oh. Man, I got some tequila over in Horn Cabin, and he doesn't want that either. Oh, speaking of um, buying certain things, you want to purchase as many fruit cocktails as you possibly can. Buy them in um, Angel Town. They cost 3,000 gold, but I went ahead and I got 14 of them. And uh, yeah, don't worry about it. It will pay off in spades soon enough. Just make sure that you get as many as humanly possible. Oh. Uh, yeah. You and Dan, you're just kind of here. Oh. Well, what is it? Oh, but not you? Oh. Yeah. And we get the Maya wine. Oh, I sure will. Yeah, I hate this town. I hate the music. I hate the accent. I hate everything about this town. But what I do like is that I'll probably never have to come back here again. Yay! But now that we got that Maya wine, let's uh go give it to Dan. Hey there. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually I do. Hurry up. Okay. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? These sunglasses. Nice. <laughs> He's drunk. For the good of tomorrow, hook. <laughs> Reminds me of those old Looney Tunes cartoons where, like, if, like, the mouse got drunk or something, they would just have hiccups forever in a day. Yeah, I don't know what it is about having hiccups. I've been drunk before and I've never had the hiccups. Like, what is that? Why do why do cartoons do that or games or whatever? I don't really get it. But anyway, those sunglasses, quite nice if I do say so myself. They raise the special abilities power. So that is the, um, let's see, the special skills. So things like two times counter slash, it raises that power up. So that's very nice. And um, that cleaner mask that I took off, I'll go ahead and give that to Heath. Because, honestly, Basil is the least important party member that we have. So, yeah, just keep everybody else um, afloat. So let's go ahead and get back on our ship. And uh, get on out of Japan. Let's see, next thing on my list of things to do. Let's go and um, visit Ai's grave, actually. It's right over here at Pokin Cabin. Hopefully they gave her a grave. Hopefully they rebuilt this place. I mean, I would imagine so. Oh, it's not burned to the ground anymore. Well, that's something. Okay, will do. Oh, poor Heath. Oh, he's so upset, and just two seconds ago he was being a pedophile. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Oh, yeah, she was rather strong. Oh, really? Who are you getting married to? This kid over there? They seem rather young to get uh, getting married. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, I think that there's one other person in here that has some new dialogue. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this guy. Oh. Well, yeah, I would imagine so. So that's all we can do here. I'm surprised that Heath doesn't get like a special accessory or anything for visiting the grave or a special weapon or item or something or a special skill maybe, you know? I mean, like, I feel like that's kind of disappointing that he doesn't get anything. Really, game? Like, what the hell was that? Okay, first of all, whenever you land on the, okay, whenever you stand on the airship, 
you can't just get on it. You actually have to step off the airship and then get back on the airship and then hit the A button to actually board the airship, which is annoying in and of itself. But then combine that with this encounter rate and then I get an encounter after the game already registered that I was on the ship? Like, seriously? What the hell was that? That's some bullshit. Anyway, uh, let's see, where am I right now? There's a couple things that I wanted to show you. If you go down here towards uh, Anatolia, uh, Turkey, okay, yeah, here we are. There's this kind of um, mountain off cordoned area with a, a little, I don't know, ruin or something. So keep that in mind for later. And uh, I also want to go over here to Kasbah Village and just talk to the king. Speaking of the king and his various treasures that I tried to get that I couldn't get, I went on a message board and it looks like nobody else on that message board can figure out how to get these treasures either. So it's either just background, just kind of there, or um, it's a bug in the game. I don't know. But anyway, if you talk to this guy now, you get a speed seed. Sweet! And uh, there's still a lot more stuff to do, which is mostly various enemies around and the various meteors around the world. And we're going to be looking into that next time on Let's Play God. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.